Hey, Louie. Uh, I was wondering if you were made aware of uh, the comment Bob Brenly made on the uh, Diamondbacks TV broadcast last night uh, uh, regarding Stroman's headwear and just uh, any reaction to that. Hey, Mike. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm aware. Uh, you know, I was aware last night of the of the comment. And, um, you know, first of all, uh, disappointed immediately. You know, uh, um, I, I think that, you know, when you're in a platform uh, in this game, uh, when, you know, you have the chance to inform uh, and, and educate throughout the game or after the game or, you know, as an analyst or a broadcast, like you just have so many opportunities, you know, throughout, throughout a baseball game and uh, throughout a season just to, you know, keep, keep the audience um, active and, and, you know, fill them with baseball knowledge and all that. And it's just not the case there. So completely out of, you know, out of room for, for a comment like that. Um, it's just, just very, very inappropriate. I think, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed. I was very disappointed when I heard it. So it's, um, you know, I'd, you know, if it, if it was, if it, if it was, if it was like a joke or something, it was like, I, I didn't, I didn't get it. And I know a lot of people didn't get it. So uh, that, that was my initial reaction of it. And, and that's how I feel today. I mean, I just think it's completely inappropriate. Um, and you got to take chances when you're, you're broadcasting, you just got to take chances and talk about what's going on in the game. Do the play by play. You can talk about baseball all you want, but there's just comments that are there that are completely out of, uh, out of room and will, will not help a baseball crowd grow in this game and understand what's going on. You know, and I thought that was right there with that. And has he reached out to anybody over there to say anything? Not, not of my knowledge. No, I, okay. I don't, I don't know Bob Brenly. I don't know. Okay. Next question comes from Tim Healy. Did you discuss that with Marcus at all? <sighs> yeah, we, we talked, I mean, Stro was, uh, he reacted a little bit last night, of course. I mean, I think he he um, uh, um, said his opinion through Twitter, right? I'm not on Twitter, by the way, but I know I'm, I'm aware he said something through there. So, you know, he was he was disappointed as well, you know, as I think some of the guys on the team were, you know. But, uh, you know, it, it's and I, I already said my reaction towards it, you know, and that I, I don't, I don't think anyone is, uh, you know, right now is distracted because of it, but you know, you guys are asking me, that's, that's what I thought at, at the moment when he, when he came out, I mean, this, you know, we're playing, we're playing baseball, we're playing the beautiful game of baseball. I mean, nothing more than that. I don't think uh, there's room for comments or, or any type of joke or any type of sarcasm that re, you know, takes the focus again, uh, away from what's going on in the game. Hey, Luis, do you know if the players plan to support Stroman in any way at all before or during the game? I mean, always. Stroman has – Stroman's a great teammate. I mean, everyone everyone loves Stro here. His, his energy, his demeanor, everything he does, I mean, uh, I mean, this, this – this, everything's positive. So, I, I don't think this needs, like, you know, that, that much of, a, of attention, like, you know, like throughout the game, it's just something that organically, you know, it happened and Stroma had his reaction last night about this. So Stroma has immediate, immediate support of everyone. I mean, that, but there's some, that's something that right now in this moment, I can tell you, we're, we're preparing to play a ball game. I mean, I just had, had the uh, question asked to me and I'm, I'm responding, but I don't think this is something that is being talked actively right now in there. I mean, we're getting ready to play and face Madison Bumgarner, you know, who's a, uh, who's a guy that, um, you know, we're going to see for the first time in the in the Diamondbacks uniform that we want, we want to we want to be ready for that. You know, we we want to win this series. That's our main focus right now. But to your to your question, I mean, Stro always everyone has throws back all the time here. Hey, Louis, I know you said you're not on Twitter, but uh, Marcus has tweeted a lot about just how he has dealt with racism in different forms. And I'm wondering, just as a manager, if that's a conversation you ever have with a player like that, if you know he's experienced certain things in certain avenues. Well, uh. Yeah, you know, you you talk you talk with the you talk with the guys about some that, that's going on, you know, and uh, something's happened in throughout their life. You don't know what these guys have gone through, and you know, we all don't. I don't know what Marcus has gone through. You know, as much as I've had conversations with him about his childhood, his life, you know, his his, his dad, his his mother, and 
his family, everything. And um, so you come to an understanding that, uh, you know, what they lived is, is real. So uh, some of the things that happen out in society, they really affect a guy like Marcus and they affect other people. Like, um, <clears throat> and I, I have a sense of understanding uh, with that. You know, I come from a baseball family that played throughout tough times too. And uh, so there's a sense of understanding there. So yeah, I've had conversations with Marcus and I've, I've you know, I understand some of the things that, um, that can upset him that happen. And I can understand him being upset about what happened last night, you know? So we they had conversations with him and the, the, the reasons for the conversations is, are, are mainly um, to keep the player focused and uh, in, you know, in playing and, and knowing probably how to, um, you know, put some barriers, you know, and, and, and make sure that, you know, you're, you're, you're looking forward, stay positive and, uh, trying to contain some of the damage that uh, you think is getting to you mentally. And, uh, but, you know, Stroh is good for that. You know, he's always going to voice his opinion. He's always being authentic. And any conversation that you have with him is real. And, uh, but I've always had the ability to talk to him about it. And I always had the ability to talk to other players about any other particular case. I mean, not only um, in Stroman's case only.